Chrisley Yard here with another Sunday at TCR's Barn video. This video we got the monster truck in here and we're just swapping out some shocks. I don't know what the heck else I'm going to do. Maybe I'll play with the wagon, probably power wash the Audi a little bit. Melted, uh, melted my tripod a little bit on that intro shot with the exhaust, the, uh, the, the tail of the tailpipe, but it was worth it. Anywho, uh, we're just going to swap some shocks on this here truck. We'll start by using the tire taker off for 5000 It's really good at taking off toys. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dog? There it is. Ugh. Tires half the size you are. All right, got the top bolt off. Got a jack under the frame. Lowered the suspension with the jack. Now we're gonna go for the bottom one, and hopefully this thing's almost fully extended, so it comes out nice and easy. But it might fight us. Hell yeah, that's what I was hoping for. That easy. All right, and just like that, project canceled. Why? Well, because if you look here, see how this uh, lower shock uh, bolts on to the control arm with a fork style well the new shocks this is the front shock are not like that not even close it's a different style they do make adapters but uh, I was talking to Mr. Jeep and Jeremy he said yeah just button it back up I'll figure it out so I'm going to throw this thing back together, throw it out in the field, and then uh, I guess uh, we'll work on the wagon a little bit. i got to put the slave cylinder for the clutch back in it and maybe start putting it back together because uh, all the windows and all, everything pretty much works. Let's, let's get it back together, I guess, but no Chevy shocks today. So that's that for the Chevy for today. 
But uh, we'll get the slave cylinder back on the wagon, the vont, and uh, excuse my first burp. Maybe we'll start uh, putting the dash back together and stuff because I got the column is good. The wheel can go back on and all that stuff. Maybe check blinkers to make sure all that stuff works, but I'm pretty sure it does. Last weekend, I got the soft top on the Jeep. I didn't make a video, but I'll show you right now. So there's the new top. It came out beautiful. It went on perfectly. Um, some bird dung on there or something. It hasn't been hardly any birds in here as far as I can tell, but it was outside for a while. But nice new top. It's got this. Uh, this um, system, I got extra that you fold down the uh, back end that goes on here. You fold it into this bag and strap it to the roll bar and then use this strap to hold the back down. And it allows you to have no windows and, and everything uh, a lot fr freer flowing um, without that thing in the back going blah, 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 like flopping in the breeze. It's It'll just be this flopping in the breeze which uh, we can tighten or experiment with but I did drive it and it doesn't uh, it, it works great but it's gonna be raining this week so once we get some few days that there are no rain in the forecast because I got no doors I'm not bringing the windows with me we're riding this thing just like this all summer as soon as I get that squared away you know the weather be a beautiful day for it today but I got nowhere to go since you know I got I gotta stay at home unless you're in stand for worker. <laughs> but she's ready. I can't wait. She can't wait. It's gonna be good times this summer with the Jeep. Hell yeah. Oh. It's just beautiful out here today, guys. Plants! I got good news, bad news about plants. Good news is these bushes in front of the house have buds and they are blooming. They uh, turned a little brown from some snow we got, but I think they'll be okay. And the bad news is all the trees are dead. They almost made it. They had new stems growing, but the last blizzard took them out, but not to lunch. All the needles blew off. And now they can't get the sunlight. So they're pretty much done for. If I do try this again, I'm going to start with bigger ones. I think it's just too harsh out here for saplings. But that's an update on the plants. Bush is good. Trees, not good. So I'm pretty much uh, going to get the slave cylinder back on there and bled and uh, start putting the interior back together and uh, I don't know what else eventually one of these days I'm gonna get this thing inside this barn get it up on jack stands take all the wheels off and go through it all not yet but soon probably not today but I'm gonna start putting the interior back together and uh, jam some music so I don't know I guess I'll uh, come back if anything interesting happens might go play with the shotgun later. Some bird shot, but we'll see. Well, we got her all full of fuel. That's water after cleaning up the overflow of fuel. <laughs> uh, we got the 
clutch working again and bled and she's running she's still got a nice tap but she hasn't been worn warmed up or driven in a while but she sounds mostly healthy a little bit of a tappy tap never did any harm nothing coming out the exhaust clean af all right next i'm going to put the dash cluster back in and start putting the wheel back together and all that stuff how long that lasts though there's a big rainstorm right there and there's another one right there and it's coming this way but it might miss us hopefully we go through there well actually i just looked on the radar and we might have some definitely coming this way i got a big mess to clean up still so we're going to clean up that mess and i do want to power wash ye old sedan because she been down some salty nasty roads and she's all crusty and needs a quick wash off so i'm going to put everything back together and wash her off and that'll be it anyway just remember if it ain't straight make sure it's a v8